Welcome to the very first Tech Minds video short. My name is Joe Romeo. Today we're going to be looking at three of the top smartphone platforms out there and their virtual keyboards. So today we have the Apple iPhone 3G, which uh, as you can, I'm sure everybody's familiar with by now, is, is pretty much a straight application launcher. You've got these separate pages with all of your applications on them and if you want to run them, you just tap to open it up. We have the HTC HD2. This is running Windows Mobile 6.5. And uh, this layer on top is called HTC Sense. The company that manufactured it designed it. Gives you a very graphically pleasing uh, way to get to all of the things that you care about. For example, this weather widget automatically updates your location and gives you the weather and the, and the five day forecast based on where you are. The HTC Nexus One, this is the newest phone from Google running the Android operating system. They have these neat little widgets, there's weather and a news widget which you just tap on, everything opens up, you can get to it right from your home screen uh, instead of just the uh, instead of just the program launcher that's here, they're, they're neat little widgets, you can have a, a tasks and a gym widget and all this neat stuff, newest in the this version of the operating system are animated backgrounds. You can kind of tap them and things happen. It's kind of neat. Okay, so what we're going to do on all three phones is go to the notes. We're going to use note everything on Android. Windows Mobile has a built-in note application. And the iPhone has a built-in note application. And we are going to take a look. I'm going to create a new note here. And we are going to look at the virtual keyboards for all three platforms. Alright, so the biggest difference in how the keyboards operate is between predictive and corrective text. Now what that means, the, the iPhone uses corrective text, so if you type a word incorrectly, well let's type in incorrectly really quickly, and I actually spelled it right, that's not supposed to happen. So we'll do a quick sentence then. Go to the quick brown fox jumps over. Okay. So you saw it there. I spelled jumps incorrectly and it fixed it for me. That's that's corrective text. And the difference here on the Windows Mobile will show you is quick. See how it's giving me options. It thinks I could type quick or quickly. Brown fox jumps I typed over incorrectly but it thinks I might have wanted that so that's this is the difference between predictive and corrective text. Uh, the iPhone doesn't give you a choice, it fixes your misspellings into what it thinks you meant to type. And um, the, so the virtual keyboard here on Windows Mobile gives you choices. Did I mean moon? Did I mean join? Did I mean noon? Obviously I meant moon there, so that works out well. And then Android is, is very similar. It's also predictive, except it shows up here in this bar right on top of the keyboard. So we'll do it the quick. I didn't find that one for me. Brown. Fox. Yeah. Okay, so quick bark. That's actually not too bad. We met we missed quick. Um we got everything here correctly and the uh, and the iPhone grabbed it correctly too. So you see either way whether it's whether it's predictive the uh, the predictive text of Android or Windows Mobile or the corrective text of the iPhone it really works pretty well. Okay, so now we're going to go over just a few of the differences between the virtual keyboards on the iPhone. You can see it's very straight. You've just got the letters in rows here. You've got the shift, caps lock, caps lock toggle, backspace, return, nice generous space bar and then this little button that takes you to numbers and symbols. On Windows Mobile you've got 
the same, almost the same setup here. You've got the same toggle to take you to numbers and symbols, but additionally, above each of the letters, you've got symbols drawn here. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but we'll just tap and hold. One, two, three, just like that. So instead of having to go to this uh, other screen to type in numbers, you can just stay exactly where you are. The other addition are these up, down, left, right buttons in case you misspell a word. It's easy to, to really accurately get in the middle of a word to fix it. You can see it's a little, I'm trying to get in the middle of quick. It's a little more difficult to do on some of these screens. Uh, you can just tap and get to it, but having those buttons is really kind of nice. Android does not need those buttons because most of the phones have this trackball. So if you're trying to get in the middle of a word to correct it, it's really easy to do with the trackball. The keyboard is very similar to the iPhones. The biggest difference being this uh, microphone button. Let's test this out here. If I can tap it. The quick brown fox jumps over the moon. So let's see. This is a new addition to Android. The quick brown fox jumps over the moon. Fantastic. So it, it, it got it correctly. It's actually more accurate than when I typed it in in the first place. And this voice is the biggest addition to this newest version of Android 2.1 that's running here on the Nexus One. It'll be on the Motorola Droid pretty soon, uh, as well as older phones like the HTC Hero, the uh, the version of here that's on Verizon is the Droid Eris. Uh, a lot of other phones are going to be getting this update. So it's really kind of nice. Just hit that voice command instead of having to type it in. All right, so thank you very much for bearing with us for this first TechMinds video short, looking at the virtual keyboards on both Android, the iPhone platform, and on this HD2 for Windows Mobile. We're going to be doing a lot more video shorts like this here in the future, and we hope to have you with us.